What's up, guys? Welcome to How to Flip a Loop, Session 2. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about taking a vocal loop and turning it into a usable melody for a new song. Uh, we're going to be doing that using Studio One's sampler, Sample One XT. So let's get started. I'm going to pull up a loop from Hook City Modern R&B Edition. And what I'm going to do is, actually, I'm going to pull up several loops so that we can find one that we actually like. And then we're going to take that loop and I'm going to show you how to turn it into a melody. So let's just listen through some of these loops here. Let's take a few, drop them in. All right, let's listen to some of these. Time, baby, I just don't want to run no more. I just know my mind's out and running out. Let's slow it down, down. I like that one. Let's, let's, let's slow it down, down, down. Okay. And I've been taking away too much stuff, so. That's cool as well. Oh, your love is like a drug. I like that one. We're going to use that one. And I'm going to take this uh, audio here. And I'm just going to simply drag it onto C1. And you see it show up here inside of uh, Sample 1 XT. And we're going to take it and just simply drag it across the keyboard, which effectively makes it a playable instrument now. So we can go ahead and get rid of uh, the sample there. So let's just hear it. Oh, 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 yeah. So there you go. You have that sample up the keyboard. So you effectively have created an actual instrument, which is really cool. So one of the things that I really like about Sample One compared to some other samplers is that you can make it follow the actual tempo. So the tempo of this particular construction kit is 130. So basically, if I go over here to the actual wave file, you can see it here show up. And then I select follow song tempo. Instead of speeding up as I go up the keyboard or slowing down, it'll maintain the 130 BPM tempo, which is important to me. Oh, your love is like a drug. Oh, your love is like a drug. All right. So now what we want to do is kind of find, play around and find a melody that works. Oh, your love is, oh, your love is, oh, your love is like a, oh, your, 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 oh, your,
Let's lay that down, actually. Okay, that sounds pretty good, but the vocal is kind of dry. So what I'm going to do is start working with some of the effects inside of sample one. I have my reverb pulled up here, so let's uh, add some reverb. Nice. I'm going to fix one note here. It's a little bit early. All right, let's uh, try some uh, delay. I think I'm going to use kind of like a panned effect delay. And I'll go quarter notes. Turn it down. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, let's hear the effects by itself with just the vocal. That sounds really nice. So that's how you take a vocal loop and turn it into a playable instrument. There's plenty of things that you can do with a loop. The great thing about the way that we set up our loops at MVP Loops is that we put things together that work well together because at the end of the day, yours doesn't have to sound like the next producers or beat makers project. You just have to use a little bit of creativity but we want to make sure that the process flows easily and quickly. So until the next time, keep making great music. I'm Donald Johnson from MVP Loops. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.